Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Olson. I miss you all. It's good to be with you, even if I can't see you. And I'm thankful for this chance that Mrs. Cagney is giving me to just share a few thoughts with you. Um, you know, it's been since March and ever since March, like the 15th, um, when we stopped going to school, I have not heard anybody come up to me and say, I need help. And I am kind of missing that. And it occurred to me that if there's one person who loves hearing people say, I need help more than any other person, who do you think that would be? It would be Jesus. Jesus loves when we come to him and say, I need help. Because that's what he's there for. He wants us to realize we need him. And so I wanted to just challenge you this morning. That little video I did about every morning when I wake up, I say a little prayer for you. I want you guys to think about waking up and saying a little prayer to Jesus of thank you. Of just, hi Jesus, I'm glad you're with me today. Uh, I just wanted to say good morning and here's what my day is. It's gonna be boring, Jesus. I don't have anything to do. Would you help me find some good things to do? Or, good morning, Jesus. I am gonna be annoyed with my little sister because she keeps taking all my stuff and wrecking it and I just get really mad at her. Or, you know, whatever it is, Jesus wants to hear from you and he wants to help you. And there's a verse in Psalms 92 and it says, at each and every sunrise, we will be thanking you for your kindness and your love. As the sun sets and all through the night, we will keep proclaiming you are so faithful. And I just wanna encourage you guys every morning when you wake up, just to say good morning to Jesus, just to welcome him into your day and share with him anything that you're facing that day and just thank him that he's with you. Thank him for his love. It's the only thing that Jesus can't have unless we give it to him. Our thanks, our, our worship, our hearts, our lives. So we can, we can honor Jesus just by waking up and remembering him and thanking him and inviting him into our day. So I wanna challenge you to do that. And, um, and then when you go to bed, you can look back on your day and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. I remember when you, uh, you helped me have patience with my little brother or you, you were really good. I got to do some fun things today I wasn't even expecting. Or, you know what? It's just good to kind of stop at the end of the day and think of the things we're thankful for. It's been a hard summer. It's been a hard summer in Minneapolis. And um, we need Jesus more than ever. And he is faithful. And I just want to challenge you to remember that he's with you he loves you and he wants to be a part of your day and he loves it when you say i need help so i miss you guys and i am looking forward to seeing you this fall i hope you'll have a great great fourth of july and i will look forward to seeing you soon all right bye bye